Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. We've got a custom Primaris Force for you guys to check out today. Really cool projects. Now, if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Here at Siege Studios, we're a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who all paint from our bronze, introductory, above tabletop minimum standard, all the way up to platinum, which is a competition entry quality. If you are interested in a commission with us, be it for a character, small force or army, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. If you click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project, and in the message section, of the contact form, include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome force in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up for this Primaris Custom Chapter Force, we have got the three characters or three leader models from the army. Uh, we've got two customized models, which I'll go into in a bit of detail in shortly, and also of a uh, ancient as well. So we'll pull the ancient forward first of all, just so you guys can see him. Uh, Mike is the artist that's worked on this awesome commission with this really cool bone gray and orange scheme. And uh, he's done a great job of picking out all the lenses and details in this complimentary blue, just to really work with the orange that's on the models. Again, you've got um, all the little bits and bobs here, some text on the purity seal, as well um, and extra little details all done moving around all the little pouches and things done in a brown uh, he's obviously got a chain sword here with a, in the uh, orange sort of counting as well which just complements quite nicely to the little blue lenses and lights and things which is really lovely uh, and i do like that the lenses on these models are orange i don't really see that very often or orange used that much which is really really cool uh, so to have like orange glowing lenses is really nice and that's just the ancient from the force um, we have two converted models our client requested that we make for him um two of the Victrix guards as well. So these are custom Victrix guards, obviously power weapon and storm shield. Uh, Mike's done a stellar job to paint these in a very unique scheme. So obviously in a black here, in an obsidian kind of color, which is lovely, uh, just to go with a character model that he may well have. Um, and obviously you can see the power weapons here with scratches and bit nicks and things on them, which is really cool on the sword. Obviously a nice glow around the power uh, node on the power sword as well. All little buttons and lights and things on the armor all picked out in that blue again. And a lovely level of highlighting on this armor here, just to really make all those armor panels stand out uh, obviously with the bone and black scheme which is quite cool just to denote them as kind of like guard models which is cool so that's the first one all right and uh, incidentally these models are actually hellblaster marines that have been converted into uh, victrix guard so just to give you guys a bit of an idea of what we can do with the stand infantry models here uh, so that's the first one the second one looks about like he's about to impale someone with his sword or drive this sword into someone uh, while advancing and blocking and defending himself with a shield which is really cool uh, great model again just a hellblaster model that's been converted uh, you can see all that lovely edging that's been done. All the little lights and things on the armor are all picked out in that teal blue color as well. Uh, power nodes obviously all painted as well in a lovely fashion just to show that energy ensuing through the blade. Uh, but really, really cool model. Again, those orange lenses on this guy. Really cool glow effect on the lenses with a light point of light catch light in there and a bit of blending towards the front of the lens, uh, which is really lovely. Um, nice clean finish on these as well. So that's just the three characters from this force, guys. I do hope that you like it. Uh, up next, we have all of the infantry coming and then we have the transport the repulsor so stick around that's coming up next see you guys back shortly so next up from this custom Primaris force, we have all the infantry and there's quite a few of them. We have three squads of Hellblasters and four squads of Intercessors. Uh, two six-man Hellblaster squads and one five-man squad. And then obviously four of the Intercessor squads. So we'll start by looking at these Hellblasters first of all. Really cool models. I know Mike had a great time working on them. And uh, the scheme obviously incorporates cream, gray, and orange. Um, plasma glow, we've done obviously with a teal or blue color to complement that orange as well, which is really, really cool. Orange lenses as well, which I haven't ever seen before, which looks really, really cool um they do look really really good and all little buttons and dials done also in a blue just to complement that orange as well and, and go nicely with that um with that gray armor as well so this is just one of the intercessors here you can see the point of light source also in the eyes glowing orange lenses on the marine as well which is really cool uh, all the little lenses and everything done as well uh, in a lovely lovely clean fashion uh, so that's just one of these hell blasters pull forward the sergeant just so you can see him and the sergeant has this uh, lovely cream stripe down his helmet just to uh, distinguish him as a sergeant uh, again there all the little dials and buttons and everything all done in a nice teal color and the plasma glow obviously done in blue as well just to complement that orange as i mentioned uh, really cool with the bionic arm as well so that's just him 
We'll have a look at another uh, of the, from that squad just so you can see him again. You've got that point of light source in the lens and a blur and a nice glow as well, which is really, really cool. Just firing away here, about to incinerate someone, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just another of the Hellblasters. Uh, have the squad in the middle as well. Um, just to pick a few from here. There's another sergeant as well, just sort of walking forward here. You can see those lovely orange lenses glowing as well, just to complement those gun cases, which is really cool. Uh, so again, really interesting scheme. It's kind of like a quarters kind of scheme as well, but which is really, really lovely. So that's just a sergeant. Um, I won't pull forward any of the plasmas from that squad just because they are the same. I'll pull forward the other sergeant just so you can have a look at him. He's uh, commanding away to the people to go. We've got the little wrist mounted uh, screen there and buttons all picked out as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, like that the uh, crests are done in a complementary bone as well, just to match the other aspects of sort of uh, bone on the armor as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just the other sergeant. And then uh, just to show you the consistency from this other unit as well, uh, I'll just pull one forward here so you can see him. Again, really, really cool scheme and also a lovely, lovely finish on all of these models. And incidentally, you could mix and match all these Hellblasters in between all different squads because they would fit perfectly. Um, next up, let's have a look at the Intercessors. So we're going to pull forward one of the sergeants first of all, just get that to focus for you guys. Here's one of the lovely sergeants from the squad. Again, that stripe on the helmet there, as you can see. Lovely subtle power glow around the, uh, the node on the sword and also the generator as well, which is cool. Uh, again, the bolter there with the orange casing and also all the complementary teal lenses as well, which is really, really nice and buttons, which is great. So that's just one of the sergeants. Um, pull forward one or two from this squad just so you can see the intercessors. But again, really, really lovely finish on all of these. Uh, nice, nice, sharp, subtle edging on all the armor panels as well, uh, which is really lovely. So that's just one with an auxiliary grenade launcher. And then we'll pull forward another one that's just wielding just a normal bolt rifle. Uh, again here, really, really cool scheme. And again, lovely quartered, quartered kind of gray and cream, which is really cool. So that's just uh, that's just the squad, one of the intercessor squads. I'll pull forward a selection of the sergeants just so you can see them. And there is one squad that has got more gray on it, uh, just to distinguish that squad from all three of the others, which I think is quite cool. Um, again, you've just got a sergeant here about to just uh, eviscerate someone with a sword, which is really cool. I like that the, um, the rope as well is done in orange as well, just to complement but lovely, lovely amount of highlighting done on all of the areas of these models. Nice and nice and intricate and sharp. Uh, ball forward one intercessor from that squad just so you can see him as well and again really really sublime finish on all of these which is lovely uh, then we'll have a look at this other intercessor squad over here just pull forward this guy who's bounding forward firing again you can see the full gray lower legs on this guy as well which is cool just to distinguish this squad from the others maybe it's first squad uh, or something like that uh, which is really cool so that's just uh, one of the uh, other intercessors from the front right squad pull forward the sergeant from that one so you can see him Again there, you've got uh, the full grey on the lower legs as well with less bone on this guy. Power fist on him as well with a little lens done there as well just so he can video as he smacks the hell out of someone. Uh, and then uh, obviously he's got a stowed rifle there and also the pistol, but all the little dials and buttons all painted as well, uh, which is really, really lovely. And you've obviously got all the lenses and everything done with a lovely point of light source and catch light on those as well, which is great. Uh, and then we'll look at the rear squad as well. Pull forward the sergeant just because I do like showing you guys the sergeants. He's just like, bellowing onwards there, just leading, pointing with his sword a little bit which is cool uh, again you can see obviously the bolt gun casing in orange just to complement them really nicely and then the blue lens is just complementing that orange which is really really cool again the beauty of it here is that you can just mix and match between units uh, without any fear of the consistency lapsing as well which is a good thing with us here at siege uh, again you can see this lovely lovely sublime finish on all of these and this custom scheme came up with our client really cool nice to work on something a little bit different and, and that's all the infantry from the force guys i do hope that you like them uh, up next we have the repulsor which is the armor of this force that's coming up next stick around we'll be back shortly to have a look at that awesome tank so last up from this custom Primaris Space Marine Force, we have the Repulsor that is in the army. Really cool model. The new tank transport variant for the new Primaris parts of the Space Marine faction. A really, really cool tank uh, with loads of little details and bits on it and obviously painted in this great grey, cream and also orange colourway. Um, Mike's done a great job of picking out all the little details, all the little lights and bits and bobs above the doors, all the little lenses and scope bits as well. Uh, the complementary red to the orange uh, missiles or grenade in the frag 
launchers, uh, all the little lenses here at the front, you can see everything, every little detail all picked out. Now it is all magnetized so that they can change over parts as well, which is really cool. You've got all the storage and everything done here. Really cool little details, like for example, the little skull here with all the text and purity seals and bits and bobs on it as well. Around the back, we've got the little lights as well, all done around the doors as well, which is lovely. Uh, and a great, great complementary color scheme here. And the great colorway as well, just really works uh, as well. Those blue teal lenses with the orange just make each other complement really nicely. Uh, but overall, a really, really cool tank uh, to transport your troops into battle for your Primaris army. Uh, great model, and I uh, do hope you like it. We're back in a second to have a look at the whole force all again in a nutshell. Uh, do hope you like it, and uh, you can find out how to take out a commission with us here at Siege. See you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking the army out, guys. I do hope that you have liked it. I know that Michael had a great time working on this custom scheme. Uh, if you are interested in a commission with us, be it for a character, small squad, small force, or a vast army, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. If you click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, select the relevant drop-down options from those available for your project and requirements. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on that contact form. Form. Fire that off to us to get the process started. So while you're here on YouTube, do us a couple of favours. Firstly, give the video a thumbs up because we'd appreciate that very much. Secondly, if you're interested in keeping up to date with all the videos, subscribe to the channel so you can see all the goodies that we put up. If you do hit that bell icon, you will be notified of all the new video uploads which go up on the channel. And finally, in the description of this video, you can find all the links to our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. If you can go and like and follow us respectively on all those pages, you can keep up to date with everything going on here at Siege. See you guys very soon in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.